Hey everyone, Emily here at Fort Fisher State Recreation Area. I'm here just as the sun is rising over the Atlantic Ocean, checking out some loggerhead turtle nests. I'm here with the parks to help monitor these nests and to find out why it's so important to protect these threatened species. That was great. So with me to show me more of the monitoring process is Park Superintendent Jeff. So Jeff, I know this is a special time of year for the sea turtles. Tell me what's going on right now. Okay, well, right here behind us, you can see we've put this runway up on this nest because it's actually getting ready to hatch. Uh, once the nest reach day 50, that the, the eggs have been in the ground, we'll put this runway up. It kind of just gives the turtles a good start. Um, to get to the ocean. Yeah, what happens to those baby turtles or those eggs between the nesting and their way into the ocean? Well, there's, they have a lot of predators just here on the beach, so even before they get to the water. Uh, the main ones are, are fox and coyote, very much more with the coyote now. There's ghost crabs, they'll go in there and try to pull out eggs, or even baby sea turtles. And then birds. Um, birds will obviously fly down and, and, and grab a sea turtle if they can, uh, which makes it why well, it's very important for our volunteers who are out here to help monitor these nests and keep those predators away. Well, it's awesome that you mentioned that because I made my way into the volunteer list for tonight and I'm going to get to monitor some sea turtle nests and I'm really excited. I can't wait. Yeah, good luck. I hope you guys get to see a hatch tonight. That's really cool. <laughs> a live turtle. He was making his way out and we brought him up and now we're going to get to take him to the ocean. You're so, so cute. We'll see if there's any more in this nest and then if okay. there's more we'll release all of them. Cool. There you go. <laughs> This is incredible. It is so awesome to see his little legs move in. That's right. <laughs> it's awesome to see his little flippers moving. It's really cool how the flippers move so much and the it's the shell is, is just kind of stationary. You can feel his head kind of bobbing back and forth. Yeah, let's get him to the ocean. Put him back in the bucket. Put him just back put in, the in the bucket. There you go. It calms down just a little bit. Yes, I do. Okay. So he's going in where he'll swim. So if you want to take him out of the bucket, you just set him right on the sand. He's working so hard in those back legs. He's going chicka chicka ch Yeah, 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 yeah. Swim, 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 swim. Yay! There he goes. So in the span of five years, loggerhead sea turtles grow from little baby hatchlings to over 200 pounds. They eat things like clams, jellyfish, and this horseshoe crab right here. Oh boy. But sometimes they also eat stuff like balloons because they look like the jellyfish that they really want to eat. So one way that we can help the parks and help the sea turtles out is by collecting trash so it doesn't get into the ocean and by making sure that balloons don't make their way either.
So we noticed the indentation in the sand right at 7.30. Yeah. Uh, so right now it's nine o'clock, so um, an hour and a half later. And this is really a mad dash. Um, they've hatched, they've waited for their siblings to all hatch, and then they boil out and making their way all at once towards the ocean. All their brothers and sisters at the same time. Somehow they are just making their way to the ocean with the little light that's out here. They can see light reflecting off the horizon and they just instinctively know to head towards the ocean. It was just amazing to think of the 100 turtles. Uh, we'd be lucky if, if one survives to come back and, and lay eggs on the beach. I hope some of them go on to live 100 years and lay thousands of eggs. Wow. It has been an incredible day here at Fort Fisher State Recreation Area. We started just before the sun rose over the Atlantic Ocean monitoring these nests. We've spent the day uh, excavating nests and taking a look at some empty shells, taking a look at the cycle and the process of how these turtles make their way up to shore, lay their eggs, and how the eggs eventually hatch. And now we're finishing off the night with an incredible scene watching a, a nest boil and, and baby sea turtles coming out and making their way out into the ocean where they'll live a long, happy life. So all in all, I would say today has been a huge success. It's been great. All right, so real quick, I'm here at, ooh. She get a shot of me running after the birds. Is it the notebook? There's that scene where she runs and all the, all the birds just whoosh. We'll do it a few times. Turn on my brain. Woo! Thanks, horseshoe crab. You're stinky, but we love you. <laughs> Do you still have any phone numbers memorized? Uh, but like modern ones? Yeah. Uh, just my wife. Well, that's a good one. Um, so lost my train of thought. One second. No, you're good. <laughs> wow, so cool. Come on, turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him wiggle. Chilling in the bucket. I know it's so dark. It's like, where are you? That was so amazing. I know. Oh my goodness. Was that good?